Good morning guys. It's Saturday the 23rd. Today my mom would have been 68 today. It's what you do. I rushed around I didn't record at home because I rushed around because I came because I'm going for a walk with my sister Christy we can I came over to her house we're gonna go for a walk she has a new trail at her apartment so we're gonna go for a walk on that and I think it's two miles is what you walk is that what it is usually sometimes I go further. Down. it just depends on the right line. so we'll walk about two miles how much have you lost since starting the fasting and walking yeah. 10 pounds since yeah. I was in the hospital in May 29. Yeah, so we're both rocking it. Both Trying. rocking it. So I'm 36 now. I'm teetering between 36 and 33. I can't, I can't get any less. But I think it's because We've been so busy, I haven't been able to stay really strict. Alright guys, so came home, took a shower real quick. We walked a little over two miles. It was a good walk. Enjoyed it. Now I'm trying to hurry up and get around. I have clients getting ready to come. So I want to try to make me some coffee before the clients get here. So I can have some coffee. So yeah, it was a good walk. Good afternoon everybody. So I just got home from work. And we're gonna go up to mom's this evening. I have, we're not gonna stay very long though because I have so much stuff to do at home. I still have all my sensitive stuff to put away because I didn't get to do that yesterday. Because I did that video like I said in the last, actually the last vlog. I ended it when I was making that video on Friday night, which was last night. But you would have seen that in the last vlog. Um, so I have to do that. Um, I need to clean up the house a little bit because we're having um, our niece Kaylin, her daughter's birthday party they're having here tomorrow. So people coming over and then some of our family is staying over to watch the Chiefs football game after that. And we're going to get pizza and stuff so I kind of want to clean up the house a little bit. Not a lot, it's not real bad. I just want to at least, I need to sweep them off the floor. And maybe dust a little bit in the living room. And that'll be enough. But um, I want to do that and then... Um, I got some Sensi stuff I need to do, new customer packages out, we got the scent of the month samples we need to make, yeah. So um, I'm going to try to do some stuff real quick here, because Brad's working downstairs, he has a client downstairs, so I'm going to try to do some things here. I think I'm going to try to switch out some of my warmers that we got, my fall warmers, and switch them out with the other ones I had for summer. Um, and try to do that at least before we go to mom's um, and have dinner and then um, I can finish the rest when we get back all right so we're up at mom's we got up here hi everybody she got a new hair do you look at her hair she can got, you tell it looks really good that she got some copper and red right no burgundy red burgundy and copper yeah yeah something different I like it. Fall. It's fall, y'all. Mm -hmm. And then uh, she got her Sensi order. She got her three bars. They're wonderful. Dashing, fall feeling, and midnight mahogany. Brad took show Brad's food. And then 
she made dinner here. Starving. She made pork. So, this, what is this? Pork roast. Pork roast. Pork roast. And then <laughs> we call these Dell potatoes because our friend Dell he made these potatoes, so they just called them after him. It's got potatoes, bacon, and cheese, and onions. Baked potatoes, butter, salt, pepper. Then on on the top, sliced onion, and on the top of that, the bacon. And then you you bake that. And then when it's done, you take the foil off and you put Velveeta cheese all over the top of it and let it melt down. You put the foil back on and let it melt down. Yeah. Good. It's wonderful. It's so it? good. And then uh, corn. And no pie because Brett said you don't want any. Well, she said, she said, do you want, a, what pie do you want? Mm -hmm. Peach or pumpkin. pumpkin? And I said, uh, I said, I'm trying to watch what I eat because I knew she was going to give us the whole pie. And I'm like, I didn't want the whole pie, but if you would just, I guess you could have made it and just gave us a couple oh, pieces. I, make... I would have just had a piece, but I know you would have sent the whole so pie with the home with this. I said, well, I didn't make any pie, because you said you did trying to watch it here. <laughs> now, if you would have had the pie here and then just let us have a piece, that might so be all right. Pumpkin or peach. I said, how about half a pie? <laughs> so now I'll go. I peeled my peaches, I had four, I think, and I sliced them. And I put flour and sugar on it, and they were in the refrigerator. And then tomorrow, I'm, no, I can't do it tomorrow. Tonight, maybe tonight, I'll bake a, a pie, and I'll take some of the baking bird. Or you can cut a couple of pieces out and give us a couple of pieces. I, bring you. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't want the whole pie. <laughs> Trying to be good here. Oh, boy. See if it lasts till next month, and I buy another apple pie from Costco. <laughs> oh, that Costco apple pie was huge. <sighs> That's why I gave some of it away because it was really good. Uh, and she got some warmers too. So she got those bars and she got the chilling brew warmer. It's really cute. We got that too. It's sold out now. And then uh, the fall fairy tale pumpkin mini warmer. We got that as well. And then I got um, my sister's order over there. And then uh, our cousin's order is in there too. So we went up to mom's, ate dinner, and then we went and picked up Bryce. Does everybody remember Bryce when he was a baby? He's not such a baby anymore. You're a baby. He's becoming a big boy. The baby. He's it's four. Right. He's four right. now. Add five. He's four now. Add five. <laughs> He's not such a baby anymore. He's a big boy. He stay in the night because we're having a birthday party for Kason tomorrow at our house and I'm gonna poop scoop. he's gonna poop scoop the yard for me why did so, you tell him that that's good because I just paid $10 for it he's mm -hmm. the most cheapest man I'm surprised he didn't pay me two cents okay well if I'm the cheapest then I'll give you a penny for it that's half a penny I'm not only paying you I'm cutting your hair yeah, that's like that. Yeah, like that's the biggest thing in the world. Hey. I mean, I could just cut your hair like your mom said. Or you could do it my way. But I'm being nice. I'm going to give you $10 to poop scoop the yard and cut your hair. Give me $20. 20 Yes. There's not enough poop out there for 20 Our head. Good afternoon, everybody. It's Sunday, uh, September 24th. Yes, September 24th. So we're up and around, and Brad went to work, and we're having our niece Kaylin's daughter's birthday party here today. So they're here, they're outside getting set up because they're going to set up outside in the back downstairs under the deck because they're going to have crafts for kids and stuff like that. So that's at 2 o'clock till like almost 4, 2 to 3, 3.30. And then our cousins and Brad's sister and her husband and stuff are going to stay and watch the Chiefs game. So I got my Chiefs shirt on. Chiefs shirt on. Mom's coming down too for the birthday party. So that's what's going on today. And Phoebe's barking because... Brad's sister brought their dog, and their dog is downstairs. She's barking up here. I had the baby gate. 
open, uh, closed at the top of the stairs so she can't get down there because she'll be running in and out the door when people open it. And she sees him down there so she's barking like crazy. Okay, wow, it's terrible here. So we had the birthday party. And now we're watching the game outside. And we got pizza. We got salad. Pizza. We got Domino's pizza. And there's mom. There's mom. Hi, the Chiefs are winning. Big Michelle, Brad, Cindy, Andrea, Kathy, Brian, and Christy. And Bo. This Christy, Brian's dog. I know better. Now, our dog. Good morning, guys. It's September the 25th. Um. Excuse me. Oh, I just woke up and got ready. Um, I work quick trip today, and then um, before I go to quick trip, I have to go get some stuff for the salon, and then um, I have to go by Target to this pick up a prescription, and uh, yeah, and then I just work tonight. So that's all I got going on. So yeah, I was supposed to pick up my prescription two days ago, but since I'm the only one that wants to pick it up, then I had to just wait because I worked and all that crap. So should have started it a long time ago. But anywho, I'll uh, get it started today, I guess. <laughs> So I'm going to feed these animals and go get this stuff done before I have to go to work. Good morning, everybody. So I'm up and around. Actually, it's afternoon. It's afternoon today. I've been up for a while, but I've been doing sensey stuff this morning. And we had a um, Open Plains collection. And we had early access for the holiday bricks for consultants. So, And I had some local orders I had to put in with this order so I was doing that this morning because that one I'll sell a little bit ago so I've been busy doing that this morning Brad just left to go to work he works 12 to 8 today and I am finally eating breakfast because I haven't ate breakfast I've been getting up doing that and then I took a shower so finally gonna eat some breakfast but I thought I'd show you my new coffee maker so we had a regular Keurig that was the very first Keurig we had before was black and then we got a red one after that and that we had for about three four years maybe something like that but that just stopped working it quit working it wasn't brewing right it just kept making this real loud noise and wasn't working so I ended up getting this it's a I think it's called K mini or mini K it's a mini Keurig is what it is so it's just a small one I went with the blue color because I kind of like this color. Even though maybe I should have done black because we have black everything. We have black uh, all our appliances. <laughs> it's all black. Everything's black. But I went with this blue color just because I kind of liked it. So anyway, it's a mini one. So instead of putting water in like a big reservoir on the side like the regular Keurigs have, you know, you fill it up with a whole thing of water and then you just do multiple cups until the water gets so far down you have to add more this one you just, you just pour in up here in the back you pour the water there and you can only do um, six ounces to 12 ounces it just depends it has the line numbers here if you can see that you probably can't see it's kind of hard to see on there but it'll say six eight ten twelve so you can't put any less than six and you can't put any more than 12 ounces I use about I've been using, um, I think I measured it last night, I think I'm going to use about 10 ounces because I just a little bit over a cup in my coffee cup. So anyway, you just pour the water in there, but you kind of have to use a, um, it's hard to pour with a regular cup because it doesn't pour in there very well with a coffee cup, so I use a measuring cup. <coughs> I just put the water in here and then I pour it in there because it's got the little pour spout on the top. 
and coffee cups don't have a little pour spout so it dribbles out with the coffee cup so I like to pour it with this because it pours in real easy and then you'll put your coffee cup under there well that's the power on button and then you do the water and then you put your coffee cup under there you lift it up put the K cup in there and then you push the button right here and then it'll start and it'll brew your coffee and then it'll you know it'll take all that water that you poured in there into the cup so you don't have you don't have all this water sitting on the side and I don't drink a lot of coffee except for maybe on my days off I'll have a cup or so I don't usually drink it during the week because I drink decaf I don't I'm real sensitive to caffeine so I don't drink caffeinated coffee I don't drink coffee for the caffeine obviously because I drink decaf I drink it because I like the taste of it I love the taste of coffee it's just nice and relaxing and it's nice and cozy and warm you know and it especially when it gets weather gets cool in the fall and in the winter and in the summer I still like it here and there just because I like the taste of coffee so I got two different kinds here recently. I got this breakfast blend decaf. Uh, I got that at High V, and then I just found these online at Amazon. They're decaf. It's a double donut coffee, pumpkin spice. If that, there you go. So I like to look online because you can't really find very many flavored decaf K cups at the stores. But you can find more online that have different flavors in decaf because I like the flavored coffees because um, it just adds to the flavor. Sometimes I've been starting to drink my coffee black, so maybe it'll get a little extra flavor if I drink a black, but I do still put cream in there too. So we have a pumpkin spice creamer, so I can try it that way and then put creamer if I want to just add to the flavor. So we'll see how they are. I just got these this morning in Amazon, so I'm going to try it out right now and um, Put my pumpkin spice cake cups in there. Okay, so I just brewed my coffee, my pumpkin spice decaf. Mm. I don't I don't smell pumpkin spice or anything, but we'll see how it tastes. Let's try it out. Okay, so it's like it's just a light taste of pumpkin spice. Yeah, I like that though. It's nice. Usually with the flavored coffees, it's not a real strong flavor. Some are stronger than others, but because it's you're getting just black coffee so it's a little bit a little bit stronger but then you get just a little subtle undertone of like a flavor under there yeah I just get a little hint of like a spicy cinnamon that made pumpkin kind of a flavor underneath that so if you add the pumpkin spice creamer to it it'll probably just enhance it or if you just want to drink it black it's just gives a little extra little flavor to your black coffee which it's so weird that I've been drinking black coffee just a little bit lately, even though it's decaf. I drink decaf. I like the flavor of the coffee. Yeah, sometimes I just feel like no co no creamer at all, which is weird because sometimes I'll go out to coffee shops and I'm like, ooh, it tastes way too strong. Like the cold brews and stuff, those are just too strong. But I don't normally drink those because usually if you get a cold brew at a coffee shop, they don't they're not able to make the cold brews in decaf because it's like already made up or whatever um, but sometimes I'll like try brads or whatever and it's like so strong but just like regular coffee though sometimes I can take it lately just black but yeah so it's pretty good I like that um, Keurig like I said because you don't have to put a bunch of water on the reservoir on the side so since I only drink coffee on my days off I didn't like that water sitting there all week and sometimes I wouldn't always even drink it on my days off, so it might sit there for two weeks. I just feel like that's kind of gross for that water to be sitting in there, and then it would kind of smell funky. So, I would what I what I've been doing was pouring just enough in there to make me a cup, past the fill line, and then once I was done, I would take the water out of the reservoir and just pour it out, and it just not have any water sitting in there because I didn't like that water sitting in there. But now with this one, it's perfect because I just pour just the amount I'm going to have, and it drains through, and then you're done. It's kind of like a a regular coffee maker. That's how the regular, like Mr. Coffee Makers would be. You would just pour the water how much, you know, you want it in the pot. 
you pour that in there and that would brew through and then that's you know how much would come out it wouldn't there wouldn't be no water sitting there in the coffee pot so yeah excited about that because it's fall time I like to have my coffee it's nice and cozy to uh, have coffee okay so now what am I gonna do now I have to edit I really have to edit I have four videos I have to edit I think I already told you that but yeah I have four videos I need to edit um, I need to start making some samples for set of the month for October pumpkin cashmere um, I need to go get some cotton balls because I have no cotton balls for my to change my wax I ran out I've been having to do the method where you turn off your warmer and then you wait like 20 25 minutes and then you just kind of pry it out the wax but I don't like doing it that way because you have to time it just right if you don't time it just right it's either too soft or it's too hard and you can't get it out of there and then it kind of crumbles a little bit when you do that and it gets crumbs everywhere I don't like doing it that way I much rather I much prefer the cotton balls but then I go through cotton balls like crazy with all the warmers I have so anyway, um, and then I have some Amazon things I need to take back from Amazon Prime returns we have to do. Um, if I don't do that today, I'll probably try to do that tomorrow. But yeah, so I'm gonna be busy doing all that today, and it's it's nice out. Got the windows open. Got the air off. I think it's gonna be around 79, 80 degrees or something like that today. It's not gonna be too bad. Phoebe's down there enjoying the nice air coming in through the door. I think it's going to warm up later this week, like in the mid to upper 90s, so or 80s, mid to upper 80s. So I think we're going to have to turn the air on later in the week because it's going to be a little bit warmer. Oh. Okay, so Brad's home from work. What's up, guys? I haven't vlogged anymore today. Went to the store, came back. Um, doing some stuff, finished editing, trying to edit this video here. It's having problems because it's a long video, so my computer doesn't like long videos. So I had to try to delete some stuff out of there to get that video up. And um, making my lunch now for tomorrow. I got these uh, Safe Fair Honeycrisp Apple Pie Granola. It's pretty good. It tastes like apple pie. It's very apple -y. Then we got our uh, another Sensi order in. This was a uh, another party closeout we did. Got some more warmers because you just can never have enough warmers. I got Tom the turkey warmer in there. We're gonna have to film a haul on that, and then some more bars and stuff in there. I'll have to film a haul on that sometime. Phoebe's sleeping on the floor there. So yeah, oh, while I'm thinking about it, I show you this uh, It's kind of it's perfume. It's kind of a Unisex perfume I guess I still don't understand if, if it's unisex do you call it perfume or do you call it cologne? It's just a fragrance I guess it's from the Dua brand and it is Pumpkin Spice 2.0. Did I show this already in a previous vlog? I don't think I did. Maybe I did. If I did, I'm showing you again. Pumpkin Spice 2.0, it says on the side there. And then on the front, it's got the picture of the little pumpkin spice drink there. So I saw this on Steph's Lo Steph Loves Life. Steph Loves Life, I think. Here on YouTube, I was watching her channel. She does a um, bunch of different home fragrance. She does Scentsy and Vendor Wax and things. But when she starts her videos out, she always talks about what she's wearing and then what she's drinking, because she really likes um, wine and she likes different, I think, bourbon, I think. A bunch of different bourbons. She likes uh, flavored bourbons and things like that, different types. Well, she was wearing this, and she talked about this on her channel. I thought, that smells so good. So I had to order because, you know, I love pumpkin spice. I love pumpkin and everything, and pumpkin spice, I always have. We have so much pumpkin in our home decor. Our nephew came over the other day. He's like, you guys are obsessed with pumpkins. Yes, yes, we are. Or I am, anyway. This smells really good. It smells like, it's 
it's together. So you get cinnamon, but you get like clove, little nutmeg. It's not real sweet, but it does have a little nutmeg in there. It's mostly like clove and cinnamon. Yeah, it's very fall-like, really good. So I want to start wearing this. I've worn it a few times, but it's been pretty warm here still. Like today, I didn't think it was going to feel that warm, but it got really warm in here. And I ended up turning the air on because it got so hot in here. Um, so I'm kind of waiting until it gets cooler so I can wear this like on a cooler day. Because it just feels weird wearing that when it's still pretty warm out. Um, but I don't know. It's going to get even warmer. The end of this week is going to be, I think I told you, it's going to be close to 90. And it's going to be October on Sunday, so maybe sometime in October we might get some cooler temperatures. You know, like where it's high of like 70 degrees. You know, 70, 75 for the high. But um, maybe upper 60s for a high, and then maybe I could wear that. Or cooler than that. But anyway, just thought I'd show you that because... That is pretty cool. And they have, they have some different ones on there too. They have like a lot of Gourmand fragrances on their website. Just all kinds of different stuff on their, uh, of their fragrances. Okay, good morning guys. It's Tuesday, Ow. September 26th. <clears throat> so I'm about to go to work. Um, gotta go to worky bye. And then when I get home from Quick Trip, I work at the salon tonight, so. Yeah, not a lot going on. Just same old, same old. And, um, yeah. Brett be home here in a little um, few hours, and he's at work, and he'll probably work on Cincy stuff while I work in the salon tonight. So, yeah, that's about it. I cut my own hair yesterday, because couldn't get anyone else to do it and I'm not paying to do it so I did it myself so yeah I'll see you after work good afternoon guys it's Tuesday afternoon so I got off work <clears throat> I've been off work for a while came home I was so tired today I took a nap I'm like I usually don't take a nap when I get home but sometimes if I'm really really tired I'll take a nap but today I was really really tired I did okay until right when I was getting ready to leave work at 1.30 and on the ride home, I ride home sometimes, just, I don't know if it's just sitting there for that 20, 25 minutes on the way home. I just get so tired sometimes, so I'm like, I'm going to take a nap. And then I had stuff I needed to be doing, but I was so tired. I didn't, have the energy, I didn't have the energy to do it, so I'm like, I need to take a little nap. So, um, took like an hour and a half nap or so. Woke up, uh, replied to some comments on her... YouTube channel and then um, here on our YouTube channel and now I'm going to uh, uh, get dinner I think we're gonna sorry the battery died on me I saw it blinking up there red but I'm like oh, I was hoping I could finish before it died but I didn't anyway I think I'm just gonna have some leftovers in the fridge I think we have some leftovers from um, from when I went to mom Saturday and then um, I think there's some pizza left from when we um, people came over and watched Super Bowl and we had pizza. So uh, I think we'll just have some of those real quick. And then I need to edit some videos. I need to edit. I think tonight I'm going to edit uh, our first sniffs from the um, holiday collection and the breast cancer awareness collection. We're like a week or two behind everybody else. A lot of people on YouTube have already been doing warm reviews. and <laughs> We haven't even put our first sniffs up yet. But I have been warming them though, so I only got two, I've warmed three so far of the holiday um, scents. Anyway, so then, and then tomorrow I think I gotta put up the uh, October warm of the month video, I gotta put that up. Um, I gotta put the vlog up, last vlog that we had Marco's birthday party dinner, I gotta put that up yet. And then I gotta film some videos, I gotta film our haul. That, uh, box we got yesterday that I showed you still gotta film that probably tomorrow maybe and then um, I have to do a, a uh, holiday brochure walkthrough video too I'll do real quick because that goes on sale this Sunday October 1st on the breast cancer collection 
they have a little um, brochure online. So I want to walk through that on, on a video. But yeah, that's about it. And the animals, they're waiting to be fed. It's uh, dinner time for them. So I guess I better get out the food. Phoebe's gonna go crazy. She's not going as crazy as I thought. Usually she jumps all around. She must not be that hungry. So let me get her food here. Well, she got a little bit of food left in there for the, this morning. Here's hers. And now, I'm gonna go downstairs and uh, feed Peanut her food downstairs. We keep her food downstairs, kind of separate from Phoebe, and it's up on a little raised thing because if not, Phoebe would probably try to eat it, so we kind of keep it separated. All right, so I ate dinner, decided I edited the first nefs, like I said, first nefs of the holiday collection, breast cancer, breast cancer awareness collection. Just put that up. Now I'm deleting the video out of the laptop. And then I worked on these right here. These are for our Sensei VIP group on Facebook. I've been doing these daily fall themed this or that. Kind of like would you rather it's called this or that. Like this one. I've been, I made some but I'm making more. Because I'm trying to get them to last through at least November-ish. And then I'll probably maybe do some Christmas themed ones. Like this says this or that comfort food or healthy eating. So on the VIP group they just, you know, comment which one. This or that. So it's kind of fun, it's just like little interactive things to get some interaction going in the VIP groups. It's something fun to do. So I got like four or so of those done. Uh, now I need to make my lunch. Looks red, why does it look red here? Hold on. There we go. Had to turn the camera off, turn it back on. Sometimes when we change lighting, like I was showing the computer, and then I, that bright light on the computer, and then I go back to the camera facing me, it's, the lighting gets all crazy. I, it looked red. We really need to get new cameras eventually. We have had both of these cameras. I quit using mine because mine just kept shutting off. So we've been using Brad's. Um, but we've had these since 2004, 2005. So it's going on nine and 10 years. But um, they still work. So I really don't want to buy another one because it's like, I looked online for the Canon G7X is what we use. They're like five, six hundred, five to seven hundred dollars or so, I think, the last I checked. Um, yeah. I know some people use their phones, but I don't know. I just, I'm so used to using this camera. I just really like the cameras, this G7X Canon. A lot of people use their phones though when they do YouTube. Anyway, so I'm gonna um, make my lunch here and then get ready to go to bed because it's like a little after nine o'clock and I gotta get to bed. Brad's still doing here downstairs. Good morning, guys. It's Wednesday, the 27th, September 27th. Ugh. I kind of have a slow day at the salon today and I need it. I'm worn out. Worn out, I tell you, worn out. I was gonna sleep in this morning, but then I woke up at like 9 o'clock and I was like, I can't go to sleep. And then Kaylin called me at 9.15 and I'm like, well, I guess I'm gonna get up because once I start talking, <clears throat> I can't go back to sleep really. So I'm just like, might as well get up, get around. My first client's at 11.30 and it's my only client. I should be done by 1ish. And then I have to go to the bank. I've been going to the bank. Okay, so I haven't had time to go to the bank for three weeks to cash my check. <laughs> it's ridiculous. <clears throat> but 
my check is like, because we do the Dave Ramsey thing, so my check is what we do the envelopes with and all that. So I just have to put three weeks of money in the envelopes. Not much goes into the bank from my check. <coughs> because it goes for other things. It goes for like groceries, it goes for um, our clothing envelope, our HOA dues, our fund money, our uh, home envelope. So if something happens, which you know we all had to pay for, we all know we had to pay for the air conditioner unit and we didn't have money saved in there, not that much money because we just moved into the house a year ago and that made me decide, oh shoot, we need to put more money in that envelope. So we're putting in a little bit more than we did before. Kind of trying to get used to the budget kind of thing here, having a house again. So trying to figure out how much money to put in what. So, yeah. Good afternoon, guys. Heidi ho So I just got off work a few hours ago. Been home. I edited yet another video. Oh, wow. That's right. Blinded me. Look at this house. I don't like the color. I do. It's a real dark brown. I like it. I like it. I like it. It's a real dark brown. They're painted. Ooh, I really like it. You don't like that? No. I really like it. It's like a, it's like a rich chocolate brown. It's too orangey to me. It's an orange. It's brown. It's a browny orange. It's like a chocolate brown. Well, I guess it looks better in the sunlight. I like it a lot. I always kind of wanted our house to be brown. That brown. color. Chocolate kind of color. Or would it be more like a... It's not rust. It's, it's just brown. It was like a peach color before. Yeah, I, I like that. it looks that. better on the back side. Maybe because it's wet on the front still. I like this. We're going to color our house next. Bro. Paint our house. We still got a couple of years before we're about that. Anyway, so we're gonna head to Menards. <clears throat> we're gonna look for um, a grill because we've got some rewards, rebates from Menards. We've got quite a bit, so it should cover pretty much most of the grill. Because we have, right now, we just have the electric grill that we had at the apartments. Because we used to have a gas grill at the house. What happened to that grill? Was it an old? It was just old and rusted. It was old and rusted. Did Jeffrey take it? No, it? we threw it away when we moved. Uh -oh. It wasn't worth taking for free. So yeah, we um, just have the electric grill that we plug in. Just a small electric grill because we have that apartments because you can have gas grill apartments. So we're going to look and see if we can get a, a bigger regular gas grill here at Menards. See what they have. Okay, so we're looking at the grills. So they have, this is the cheapest one they have and it's 160 after your rebate, but it's okay. Eh, it's okay. But then they have this one. This jumps up to 355, that's the next one. And this one's really nice. But that's a little bit more than what we wanted to spend. Because we have about almost $200 in rebates. Um, this one's $3.99 and then you get $44 back in your rebates. But I know they have some other ones in between that price range for around two, $2.50 or so. But they don't have anything but those two. And then all the rest up there are even more than the like $400 and up. And they got some griddles on the other side. But it's probably because it's almost out of season. It's almost October, so probably in like the spring and early summer they'll probably have more more options. Because that one, I kind of want a little bit nicer one than that one, but not quite that much money on the next one. Like we the one. never use it. Yeah, and it's got the Every time side get one, we burner. Get one with the side burner and we never use it. Yeah. We have. We did use it a few times, but... Not often. Not enough to get it. Yeah. So I think maybe we might just wait, see what they got in the spring. Even though, I mean, it's almost out of season, but we grill even during the winter <laughs> sometimes. We've been known to open up the grill and grill outside in the winter time. So what's up, guys? <clears throat> it's 
September the 28th. Sorry, sweat in the eye. I got up this morning and I wanted to mow the yard real quick so I didn't take time to vlog or anything before I did. So I wanted to get it done before it got too hot. It's supposed to get up to like 86 here today, which is so crazy. We're so above what we normally are here. We're usually in the 70s, like mid 70s here, lower 70s now. But it's gonna be up to 86 and then 90 the rest of the week. So I wanted to mow real quick before we got too hot and then next week I transferred quick trips I think I told you that <clears throat> Ugh. I transferred quick trips and um, we're at a new I'm at a new quick trip it's a new one and so we're kind of short staffed so next week I'm working 37 hours there plus the salon to kind of help out so yeah I'm working my butt off next week. So I'm like, I have to get the yard mode today because on Thursdays, I don't work in the salon until 5.30 because I normally watched my niece Kaylin's kids. But since she had the baby, <clears throat> um, she's been off work, of course, so I haven't had them. So then this morning when I let Phoebe out, UPS came to drop off my package for the salon and Phoebe was out so I put her up for the UPS guy this little girl like she wouldn't hurt a thing but Brett used to be a military and he was attacked a couple of times so I'm sure they've been attacked or chased or whatever no matter what size dog so I put her up in the house and because we've been letting her out out front on the leash <laughs> Because in the fall, we take all of our stuff she gets tangled on back in <clears throat> for the winter and stuff and start putting fall stuff out and Halloween stuff out. And um, anyways, I put her up and he was like, thank you very much. That was nice. And I was like, yeah, I said, my husband's a military or used to be a military or so I understand the dog thing. And he's like, I appreciate it. And I said, yeah, I said, it don't matter big or small. You don't know what a dog's going to do. So, yeah. So anyways. Do you guys want to see what I got? Can I do an unpackaging thing for the salon? I never do that. So something different. So I got, hold on, let me go get my glasses because I can't read nothing without my glasses. Ugh, it's so bad. I am I need to call and make an appointment for the eye doctor. I've been saying that forever, but I do. And I'm gonna see about getting contacts because I'm tired of glasses. Okay, so let's get to it. So I got Blonde Me Cool Blondes Naturalizing Shampoo. It's kind of glaring. It's purple shampoo. And then I got my Blonde Me 20 Volume Developer. And I got two of those because I always try to keep a backup so I don't ever run out because that's very important. And then I got Agora Vibrance. So this is a semi, semi color. And then I got another one. So 4O. 4O, it's kind of glaring. I can't get a good lighting. And I got a 700. So the OOs is good for gray coverage. So the semi is good for gray coverage if it's like 10% gray. Not very much because it doesn't cover real well. And then I got another 40 in the vibrance. And then I got a 9.5-1 in the vibrance. And then I got two Blonde Me Tea Iris, which is a toner for blondes. Oh, I got three, sorry. And then I got uh, and this is all 
Blonde Man Schwarzkopf because that's what I use is Blonde Man Schwarzkopf colors. And then this is Agora Royale Schwarzkopf 800. I got three of those. I know some of you guys or a lot of you guys don't know what the numbers mean. And then I got a 80. And then I got a 900. And then I got a 500. And that's it. That's all I got. So I just got I just got a small order um, this time. I usually get a bigger order, but um, I'm trying to be cautious on money wise. I'm usually I usually have to have every color that's in the book <laughs> because if someone comes in, I want to have that color. If they want to say, I want that color, I won't want to be like, oh, well, we'll have to wait and I got to order that. I just want to have it and be able to do it. So I'm pretty bad at that. <laughs> I used to get made fun of at the salons for it, but guess who got color borrowed from all the time because they always had the color. So yeah. If you guys want me to like go through the color book and show you the, what I mean by the numbers, I can do that. So comment below if you want me to do that and I'll kind of, I'll take a day and I'll kind of go through the book and show you the numbers and all that and what that means and the color that it is and all that. So if it's an OO, just remember it's a great coverage. So my OOs in the Agora Royale, like this AOO, that's if they're like, gray gray like 80 percent gray 90 percent gray this will cover the gray completely so just know that it's kind of it's so to me i got confused at first because like a one is black a 10 is blonde so the higher the number the lighter the color i would think higher the number the darker it is but it's the opposite so yeah so, I use a lot of OOs, unfortunately, because people do gray, but I do use some of the other colors, too. Um, toner is to, to get out, like, um, like, the brassy and the yellowish colors and the blondes and stuff. That's what toner is for. Um, I can kind of explain that a little bit. I'm not going to go into super detail, but I can kind of explain that, kind of, if you want me to, too. So, comment below. Um, I'm not... I'm not going to go into all the detail because it could get boring to people, so I'm not going to do that. But I'll explain a little bit to kind of make it where you kind of understand or whatever. So just comment if you would like for me to do that one time. That might be kind of fun. So anyways, I'm going to go jump in the shower now that I'm all sweaty and everything and get ready for the day. I was going to go and get some stuff to treat the yard because I've been trying to call this one guy to get our yard treated. I normally do it myself, but I've been working so much I just don't think I'm going to be able to. But I was going to go get this stuff to just, I was just going to be like I'm just going to go get it and get it done. But, I don't know. I'm not going to have time today, so and it's supposed to rain next Friday, so I have till next Friday to get it if I'm going to do it. Good afternoon everybody. It's Thursday. Just got home from work. And now we are doing some Scentsy samples. I know some of you don't like to hear about the Scentsy stuff, but sorry. I'll try to be quick about it. We're making a holiday collection. Um, we got the scent of the month. Brad made the scent of the month samples. We got those in there inside the packet. And then I'm also putting the holiday collection brochure in there. And then we're going to make some samples of the five holiday bars. We're gonna put the little felt right in here. We gotta put the wax in there first and then we're gonna glue dot the felt right there into the brochure. That way you can just smell it there. So we're gonna send those um, to our club members. To everybody that has a club, they're gonna get the samples. And then um, <clears throat> everybody else will get a sample of the scent a month and then, well not everybody else, but like up to the 50, we have 50, the cinema samples goes up to 50 customers get that sample. And then we'll throw in the holiday collection. 
with uh, all the stuff in it there. So, working on that. I got my Sensei Club order too. That shipped today. So I'll have to do a haul on that. And that's about it. So we're gonna do that. I'm gonna finish putting those brochures in there and we gotta, then we gotta do a video um, on that box that's been sitting there for two days. <laughs> Need to do a video on that. Um, Sorry we talk about Sensi so much, but there's just so much. I mean, it's a big, big part of our lives right now, so it's just constantly something going on with Sensi. Um, it's like having two full-time jobs. I come home from work and I do Sensi. So um, you don't have to do all that stuff when you're a consultant, but I want to because I, I'm wanting to, I want to put a lot into this Sensi. So um, that's why we do so much because it means a lot to us and um, putting everything we have into it but uh, anyway so that's what's going on today I think Brad has some clients um, 5 30 and 8 I think tonight so we need to do that video before his first client or actually had a client earlier his second client then or something like that before his 5 30 client gets here we got to do the video basically is what I'm trying to say good morning guys it's September the 29th. Yeah, the 29th. It's Friday. So yeah, Friday, September 29th. Just getting up. Getting dressed. Mm. Excuse me. Opening the blinds. Yeah. Got a busy day at the salon. Yeah, that's about it today. Not a whole lot going on. Just work and that's it. Right, we'll be home here later. So, um, yeah, that's it. Hey guys, it's Friday. And we're ending the vlog and I didn't vlog it all today. Brad started the vlog and I just got home, was busy doing stuff and just did vlog, sorry. But needed to end the vlog because it's Friday and we're ending the vlog. And we're watching the weather, it's cooling down. It's cooling down Wednesday. Yeah, it's like 91, 90, 89, so we're summer 88, back. 88, 78, 75, 72. So, but thanks for watching. Gonna end the vlog now. Gotta go to work tomorrow. Yep, work smart. Friday tomorrow. Next week I'm killing myself between both jobs. Ooh, I think I said that earlier. I'm working almost 40 hours at Quick Trip and doing the salon next week. Ooh, am I crazy? Just trying to help out, so. Yeah. You know, we're just workaholics around here. Right. What else to do when you don't have any kids at home anymore? Work. Work. Come home. Do Sensi. Yep. Film Sensi videos. Do Happy Mail. Mm -hmm. Go up. Go to bed. Get up. Go to work. Come home. Do Sensi. It's pretty much what we do. And then you help me out. And you're doing hair and work on a quick trip. I've done a lot of Sensi lately. Yeah. He's been making samples over there. And I was filming videos. I would love doing it. I love doing it. Wouldn't be doing it if I didn't love doing it. I'm not complaining. It just keeps you busy. But I mean, if I didn't like doing it, I wouldn't do it. So, yeah. But we had a really good month this month. Really, really good month. Yeah. So thank you to everybody who ordered. Yes. Because this was our highest month with Sensi this month for September. So it was awesome. Yeah. Pretty cool. All right. So thanks for watching. Please comment, thumbs up, and subscribe if you're new. And we'll see you all in the next vlog. Good night. Good night, y'all. All right, guys. So... I've just remembered I wanted to do a little fall decor, little tour real quick because if I don't do this vlog, we're going to really put the Halloween stuff up in a few days so it won't be the same. So I want to show you this before we put the Halloween stuff up and then maybe later we can show the Halloween stuff. So just let me go. I'm going to go through it real quick. I'm not going to make it too long. So this is the fall decor. I'll start with the fireplace. A lot of it's stuff we've had before. so. Um, there's just some different things here and there. 
So we have our fall, just some garland with fall leaves on the fireplace. We have this up here. I've had those. I've got a big lots. I've had those for quite a few years. I've got our new Golden Meadow warmer from Scentsy for the fall. Got one there on that end, and then got some more pumpkins and things. I got a lot of big lots. I think I got that at Hobby Lobby. That was a big lots. And there's my other warmer there. And then in here, I got all that stuff um, at Big Lots like four years, four or five years ago. And then uh, that was also Big Lots. A pumpkin there. It says thankful on it. Then we have this thankful pumpkin there. Uh, I think that was from Big Lots too, I think. Or no, actually, I think that might have been from Target. And then we have our Happy Fall Y'all pillow covers. And that's our Scentsy Lumina Pumpkin. So it actually is like a plush pumpkin from Scentsy. It has a little pocket right back in here. And you put scent packs that have fragrant beads in them. So you can put two scent packs in there and it will smell the pumpkin. So it'll give the pumpkin a little bit of scent. So I got one there and I got one on that side. And that says Hello Pumpkin on that pillow cover. So I got those there. I really like the way those pumpkins look. Then... Got some more pumpkins on the table. Uh, I think I got that at Target, and I think I got that, uh, I think at Target, it says Hello Fall. My mom got that for us, I think at Kirkland's, just this year, because she thought it went with our decor, because it had the green and the white pumpkins and stuff in there. So we like that, and then over here we have our gather pillow right there. There's Peanut. And then over here in the front door, we got a scarecrow. We actually got that for our grandson, Nash, that passed away. We're going to take that out to his grave. Put it out there. So we just put it there for right now until we take it out there. Then we got this here. My mom got that for me. It says, you have me at pumpkin spice. And then the little beads around it there. It's fall, y'all. Or happy fall, y'all. And then that's the October Warm of the Month from Scentsy. Uh, starry Pumpkin. My mom was blank. Love it. It's so pretty. Turn the light off so you can see it there. Ooh, it's so pretty. I love it. Then we have our Hello Autumn sign here. Let me turn the light back on. Hello Autumn sign. And then Brad's sister gave that to us. It's got some pumpkins and things on there. So put that there. And then uh, on the inside, we have our wreath on, on the front side of the door there. Uh, let me show you out here real quick. We don't have too much out on the front porch. We just have our little welcome mat with the pumpkins there. We got our hello fall sign. We want to get some... Um, hay bales and corn stalks to put right there like the corn stalks there and hay bale next to that sign um, we got a couple of mums here we bought from our friend uh, I think her son or daughter was doing a fundraiser at school and we bought those mums from her um, we want to get some more mums because I um, want to put some over here by the front because these are old plants from the summer we need to throw them away because they've died out um, we just let them go because we knew we were going to put mums there. Sorry about the truck. So we're going to put mums on that side and mums right there. We just got to buy them yet. And then um, we need to get pumpkins for out here too. Then we just have, uh, well Brad put some Halloween pumpkins right there. A little uh, Halloween thing, but I'll show you that later when we do the Halloween stuff. And then Brad's sister brought us those Halloween lights down there. So he just put those up already, but we don't have any of our other Halloween stuff out yet. We put those, up, all the Halloween stuff out on uh, October 1st. So, back in the house. Let's see here. Over here, we have uh, the... There's a forest light warmer. I always forget the name of that. I had to look it up. Forest light warmer. It looks so pretty. I love how the light shines around there. Oh, and that's so beautiful. I love it. It shines down onto the cabinet there. And then 
that pumpkin, Brad's sister gave us that pumpkin, and she gave us that sign too, says Autumn Blessings. Then we have our pumpkin sign up there, First Farm Pumpkins. Um, then in here, our cousin Cindy gave us that, this tier here, so I just put a lot of, all of our pumpkins we had on here. Just, that looked good with just a bunch of pumpkins on there. That's the Fall Fairy Tale Sensi Warmer. I love that warmer, it's one of my favorites. And then over here we got the Mosaic Pumpkin. That was my first Sensi Warmer I ever bought back in 2021. And then we have just some stuff up here. Thankful, grateful, blessed. We got some hay bales there. And then over here we got the retro white truck with the pumpkin lid warmer. So in the, let me turn the light off. So it's the headlights light up and then the tail lights to light up back here. If you can see him right there. And then it's got a pumpkin lid, but turn the light back on, take the pumpkin lid off and that's where the wax goes. And it melts back there. So I like that a lot. And, uh, I think that's about it. Oh, my uh, placemats. Got these fall time placemats for the kitchen. I like those. And then my uh, pumpkin that was from Homework's Candles. It had a candle in there, but I use a candle. I got that two or three years ago, I think. And yeah, I think that's, oh, one more thing over here. This says grateful. Brad's sister gave that to us. So we put that up there. And then I think one more thing. In the hallway. Oh, the hallway, uh, the bathroom here, I forgot to show you. Get the light right here. Uh, I love fall, most of all, there. I need to get something for right there to hang up on there. Something fall like to put there on the door. And then in the bathroom here, in the hallway bathroom, we got the, that sign right there. And then these signs I got at uh, Hobby Lobby just a week ago or so. I got that one there as well. And then got our Scentsy hand soap, Fall Into Love. And then the little pumpkins there. Got our Pick Your Own Pumpkin sign. And then this is the Fall Fairy Tale Pumpkin Mini Warmer from Scentsy. So pretty, let me turn out the light. That's like the large one I just showed you in the kitchen. They have a mini one now this year. So pretty. So yeah, that is it for our home decor for fall. So um, we will probably show you the Halloween stuff um, in one of the future vlogs before the end of October. And we'll show you all our, all our Halloween stuff that we have out. All right, so thanks for watching. Bye. Okay, so I realized I forgot to show you downstairs. I knew I was forgetting something. We have some stuff downstairs too. So we got this wreath right here from one of our subscribers. She sent that to us. So we can't put it on our front door because the screen door won't close with it. And then we didn't want to put it on the outside because we thought it would get ruined with the weather. So we put it inside here. We really like it the way it looks here in the hallway. And then on the outside here of the door, if I can open it up here. We have this warmer here, our sister Kirstie made for us. It says Kansas City Chiefs. We've got sunflowers and stuff on it. We really like that. It's really pretty. And then, back here in Brass Salon, he has this gnome. His sister Kirstie made that for him as well last year. It's got leaves for his little beard. And then on the salon, Brad has this warmer here. It's the Harvest Bounty warmer. And that's just an Elma warmer right there. Love it. And that's on the, um, I think it's called Tin Stand, I think is what it's called. So yeah, okay, so that is it. I'm pretty sure that's it. Just remember that when I was getting ready for bed that I forgot to show you the downstairs. All right, thanks for watching.
please comment thumbs up and subscribe if you're new.